It's Reggae Media TV. Vibes Cartel lawyer Tom Tavares Finson gave some updates on Vibes Cartel appeal through an interview conducted with the Rolling Stone. Yeah, but first, let me address something. Yesterday, I put out a vlog similar to this one. It was about Vibes Cartel removed from Horizon to Tower Street Prison, better known as GP. And when I brought the story on YouTube, some people make it seem like me I carry wrong news, me I carry fraud news just to get views. And it end up that the story turned out to be true. Watch me on a TV, JR, one of the major media outlets, and I did find it hard to believe, eh? Hmm. Well, let me make it clear. I don't do this for getting no views and RMTV is factual. I don't see the sense in misleading the public. It just come like you're tricking yourself. Okay, enough of that. Moving forward. According to Rolling Stone, Vibes Cartel lawyer Tom Tavares Finson says he expects a hearing on Cartel's appeal to occur early next year. Okay, so in quotes, Vibes Cartel lawyer Tom Tavares mentioned on the Rolling Stone. We are very confident we will have a successful outcome. Tavares Finsey says a number of issues arose in the trial where we feel the judge made erroneous decisions. A number of jurors were employed as agents of the state and had that information been given to the defense, they certainly would not have sat on that jury. That has come out in the trial of the juror who was charged with attempting to bribe other members of the jury. Vibes Cartel lawyer Tom Tavares Finse also denied Vibes Cartel recording in jail. On September 29, 2011, Vibes Cartel was arrested at a Kingston hotel where he was filming a reality TV series and days later, he was charged with ordering the July 2011 killing of promoter Barrington Bossy Burton he was acquainted in that case but was implicated along with four other co-defendants including the artist Sean Stam in the death of Clive Williams. More Vibes Cartel get a successful appeal. A lot of people did expect say Vibes Cartel appeal would happen in 2016 but it not turn out so. So all the Gaza fans, as you know hear it, Tom Tavares said that he is expecting the appeal to occur early next year. So, so will 2017 be the year when Vibes Cartel have a successful appeal? I know I just can imagine how that would be in dance hall. People only can imagine if Vibes Cartel beat the appeal, what a Vibes Cartel concert would look like. It would look like a sting, me not like as the amount of people we are anticipate vibes cartel a road now. It's not normal. Even more than enough artists where they are road and are put in the work same way. Vibes cartel still the behind bars and are still current. So let's see the outcome of this and vibes cartel appeal in 2017. Will it even happen? Well, me hope it happen and me hope him get a fair appeal.